we're at this stage because we've treated the earth like a resource to be exploited for profit. And the only way to get out of that, from my point of view, and I believe from the perspective of many of the communities that we work with, is if we're not looking at it like a line to an end, but we have a holistic perspective on what value there is in, for example, a tree as a tree, not as something that can be tagged as this amount of carbon sequestered or oxygen produced, but the value in and of itself, the living forest. And that is pretty directly in contradiction to any capitalistic model for how we can basically pay ourselves out of this mess. We have, we've allowed these corporations for so long to externalize all of the negative impacts of what they've been doing. And now we're reaping the benefits of it. And to turn back and say, we'll work out with you a way to do it that doesn't hurt so much is preposterous to me. We're on the edge of a cliff. And the capitalist perspective would be, let's inch our way up little by little, and we're going to end up falling no matter what happens at that rate. It's like if you heard Greta talk at the UN that's the kind of passion I think we need from everyone to fight back against that kind of perspective because a radical change is necessary. And this, these fires in the Amazon are actually waking people up to the, to the danger of that and the need for a radical change now. Because it's one thing to talk about, yes, we have to stop burning fossil fuels, which is true, and drastically. But they don't, it's not as visceral a reaction as you see what essentially is the lifeblood of our global weather system burning away every moment that we don't do anything to stop it. 